Yeah, the Honorable Andrew Holness joins us this morning. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? Thanks so much for joining us. We're all honoring your um, commitment. Good morning. Good morning. You, sir? Thank How you. you? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. How are you? Hey. Looking in good shape, eh? <laughs> what can you say? <laughs> all right, let's move straight into it. Uh, what is the, just give us a general overview as to what is the general state of the Jamaica Labour Party as we speak? Well, we have, you know, moved past the two election defeats and we are now firmly in the process of rebuilding. And we're going to do it this time in a very comprehensive way. And we're going to be very deliberate and strategic about decisions that we make. Uh, the party, uh, several years ago, undertook a review of its structure through what was then called the Bovell Report. And that looked at how the various institutions of the party related to each other. This new review that we're going to do, independent strategic review, will now look more so on culture, leadership, and human resource development. We're also going to be taking a closer look at policy and positions and how our policies and positions um, align with new and emerging trends in the political market, if you want to call it that. And we're going to take a very close look at our core values and beliefs. Right, so we're looking at transforming the Jamaica Labour Party. Party leader, there are some who criticize the JLP for not lo looking out for the quote unquote small man. Is the review committee a reflection of that? Who on the committee knows, as they would say, um, underground workings of uh, inner workings of grassroots politics? Yeah, with, there, there's uh, a, which, which concerns the small you know, man. There's a, there a view in Jamaica which seems to suggest uh, that um, you know, there is no connection with the quote unquote small man if you become educated. Um, I, I tend to disagree with that. I come from the small man, um, as you call it, um, ultimate grassroots. My background is grassroots Jamaica. And I think all the persons on the panel will tell you that's where they, they came from and elevated themselves through education. So I want to reject that right off the bat. We've chosen a fairly balanced panel that will, I believe, do this whole thing justice. I think some of the questions that people ask mm -hmm. is one, when this internal review is done, is the information only going to be shared internally or, or are you No, no, no. Um, I've taken the view that the political party is no longer a private club. It's not the private domain of members. And the legislation is moving towards that as well. Political parties are now being regulated um, with the proposed new legislation for political um, party financing and campaign financing. So our records and our books will eventually um, be, be um, publicly available. And I take the view that the political party is the interest of any Jamaican, whether or not you are a member or a supporter. It is good for our democracy. So the findings will become part of the knowledge of the nation. It will become part of our history. We will publish it maybe in a book format or in some other way, and it will be accessible to the general public. And one of the things that you will be gauged on, Andrew Holness, is how much you follow the findings of this review committee. When they make recommendations, well, you know, can we expect the, that you'll the, take the them The chairman home? of the review committee uh, made sure to point out that they're not going to be making recommendations to the Jamaica Labour Party. They're going to be making conclusions, and as you have said, findings. It is for us, the Labour Party, to read from those conclusions and make the necessary determinations. So it's not a matter of accepting or rejecting. It's studying what people have said about us and figuring out how to change the way in which we do our business to be more relevant, current, um, to be more in tune um, with, 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 but, with the but, expectations but, but, yeah, of the electorate. But, but yeah, but wouldn't that party leader be running contrary to the whole existence of the um, review uh, committee if you are going to come to your conclusion based on your own extrapolations. It, the, 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 the review committee comes up with a particular finding, but then again, you are going to make your own determination as to what you do as to where yeah, you no, the party, No, the party you always... You should abide by the findings. No, no. Um, the party always reserves the right um, through its members to look at what is proposed to it and accept it. Suppose the findings would change the Labour Party from some of its core beliefs. Um, it may not be accepted, but it certainly now puts the party in a better position to understand what its marketplace requires. Now, 
if you have gotten persons to review your marketplace and review your business and come up with conclusions as to what are your shortcomings, what are your strengths, what are the opportunities, what are the various threats to the future, and you decide to ignore them, of course you do so at your own peril. So my view is that whilst the party reserves the right to accept or reject, um, inevitably, once we're confident in the validity and robustness of the work of the Independent Commission, which based upon how we have put together the panel, I'm certain that we'll be getting a, a, a valid report. Um, I think most of this, the, 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 the conclusions will be accepted. If